Okay, so I've decided to do a bit of an update for the No Name Club. For those who don't know what the No Name Club is, uh, the No Name Club is a fanfiction se anthology series that uh, me and a fellow YouTuber on here, um, Alexander Inayas, uh, have been writing. We've been working together on it. He came to me with the idea, and um, we basically uh, collabed ideas, and yeah, we kind of came up with this... Uh, <laughs> comedic anthology series that's like a mixture of, the best way I could say, it's a mixture of, it's like House of Mouse, if you gave it the kind of humor from Trailer Park Boys and It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah, so this is not for the faint of heart. If you do not like really crass comedy, then don't read this. If you really don't do, if you're not really into like, it's not like burping and farting jokes, but it is some really dirty humor. <laughs> it's, it's some really... Really dirty humor, I I have to say so myself. <laughs> but yeah, so this is an update on the story, which I ha I've talked about the initial chapter, and I've, uh, you know, talked about it and, you know, hyped it up, but I decided to do a follow-up, you know, since, um, just a few things, and kind of give you, keep you guys in the loop, loop for this story, because, um, I really, you know, I like <laughs> talking about this. But yeah, now most of you guys know that I'm the co- I co-plot the story, and I don't really... And I um, occasionally write a few scenes, and I do that a lot with um, Jason Voorhees' 2011 and a majority of his fanfiction stories, which I've talked about a few times over again. But um, this time, I have to, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I've written uh, the, the latest two chapters, um, chapters five, four and five, were written exclusively by me. Yeah, I exclusively wrote the fourth and fifth chapters for this. Now, they are, um, I'm going to do a brief, brief description on both of them and kind of give you guys a heads up of what the, of what the story, you know, what the story is, what the story is so far and what's to come a little bit because we don't want, it, Alex and I don't want to really spoil anything. But yeah, the, uh, the fourth chapter, well actually let's go through a few of the chapters already. The first chapter is just the prologue of just, um, our main, the main characters that we usually focus, sometimes focus on, and it's so, it kind of focuses on, uh, Dipper, Marco, and Penn, and their girlfriends Sashi, Wendy, and Star, as the, they're kind of like the, they're kind of, uh, Marco, Dipper, and, and Penn in this series are, are very much like the, the Bubbles, Julian, and Ricky in this series. They're very much like that. Um, Except a, a little bit smarter, but this it does focus on other characters as well. But they kind we, those are some of the characters we kind of fall back on as either supporting characters or sometimes they get the main focus in some cases. So the first chapter, for those who don't know, the first chapter focuses on them and the wild sh and a brief sh look at the shenanigans. Second chapter focuses on uh, Ford and hanging out with Rick from Rick and Morty. There's some gr I didn't write this chapter. Um, this was all, again, same with the first chapter, this was all Alex. The first three chapters were all Alex. And, um, I gotta say, and I've said it before to Alex, and I know he's watching this, dude knows how to write Rick. The dude knows how to write Rick. It's amazing. Um, there's some great humor in here where, um, Ford and Rick get into some, you know, they also hang out with Bender, uh, Bender from Futurama and Master Shake from, of course, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. And there's a certain bounty hunter that shows up that's looking for Rick. Um, don't want to say who, but you might think you already know who it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, following that is um, is the third chapter called uh, Almost Got Him, of sorts. Uh, this chapter is the first all-villain chapter. This is the one that really focuses on uh, our main villain cast. There are other villains in, the bar, in this bar... But the main thing with it is that the um, the main group, like the main gang, like these are the higher ups, are Toffee, Bill, Dominator, Vlad, and Jasper. Those five are kind of like the are like the big five of the uh, of the ta you know. There are other villains in there, but these guys have their own table, and they you know they <laughs> they are like the this is like the VIP villains right here. These are the VIP villains. And the whole story just centers around the villains kind of just having a poker game and talking about all the times they've kind of got cheated out of a victory from, you know, their respective heroes, as well as uh, there's some gags going around. We really shit on Vlad on this. We really, did, like, we kind of subconsciously said, you know what, we're going to really shit on Vlad. <laughs> Especially, I don't want to say how we do that, but 
you just gotta see it. Uh, also, Bill's just going to be just wrecking him. <laughs> um, but yeah, as we kind of wrote this chapter, we kind of came... I'll, I'll say this much. Um, if we ever do more villain stuff, we're actually kind of considering having um, more Vlad and Jasper stuff. Not as a couple. No, no. No Vla uh, um, Jasper Vlad shipping here. The um, the idea we kind of had is that we want to have... We kind of thought about having Vlad and Jasper more like um, Steve, like Chris Farley and David Spade. <laughs> Like you know, he you know Vlad's the straight man in the in the duo, and Jasper's the big bro, uh, you know the big hulking idiot that kind of messes things up. Think like John Candy. Actually, the better description would be John Candy and Steve Martin's characters from Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. That's kind of what they are. <laughs> oh man, but yeah. So that's kind of the. Um, there's more jokes in there, but I thought it, you guys can go check for yourselves. The fourth chapter, which is again the start of uh, the first two of mine is uh, Pirate Night. Now, Pirate Night is the idea is that the, there's, it's a pirate-themed, uh, the, bar, uh, the bar's gone pirate-themed for the night, and everyone's having fun. And trust me, I made some really dirty pirate jokes in here. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. There's some obvious ones, really obvious ones, but I, I couldn't help myself. There's a Long John Silver joke, just keeping your heads up. To just tell you the gauge of the humor, but yeah, this one isn't really focused on anyone. The ones it really just talks about are Dipper and his friends, and uh, then it goes to the villain table, and then finally it ends with Howard and Randy from Randy Cunningham, Ninth Grade Ninja, and Randy meeting some new, uh, meeting a new love interest. Not gonna say who, but when you see who it is, I think you'll be like, ah, I ship that now. <laughs> anyway. And the, and the next chapter is, you know, I'm just going to blurt out, the, ch blurt out the, ti the title of the chapter. Toffee and Dominator make a porno. Now, obviously, this is not a... They're not, you're not going to see anything. I, I assure you right up ahead, so get your mind out of the gutter. Not too far. But yeah, the idea for that chapter is... Uh, Dominator has come to Toffee more or less being like, Look, I need your help with a really, I, with a really stupid idea to, get, to keep Hater off my back. And, you know, I just want to crush him mentally. So Toffee agrees, and the rest of the night kind of focuses on uh, the other, you know, the heroes and villains kind of being like, Toffee and Dominator are hooking up? Oh, man. I will say this is the more feely of the of the four chapters. We, we, we talked, uh, Alex and I kind of talked about, yeah, we may do, fe well, we kind of, like, did a, a brief conversation of, eh, we'll do some feel stuff, but, yeah, we're, it, this is meant to be humorous, not funny. I mean, humorous, not emotional. So you might uh, so yeah this is the most feel we're going to get for a long time so yeah and even then it's not it's not by that much cuz I kind of I will admit I ruined all the feels by the end of the chapter I don't want to say how but I just destroyed hater by the end of this mentally <laughs> uh man but yeah there's no really explicit stuff between Toffee and Dominator it's hinted at oh boy is it hinted at but still um yeah, so those are the two chapters I wrote, and I have to stress again, if you really don't like crude humor, because there's some heavy sex jokes, especially in my two chapters, um, I, don't, I wonder what that says, I wonder what that says about me as a person, whatever, <laughs> but yeah, I have to stress again, if that's, that's not your type of humor, please don't read this, or, because I'm warning you right now, it, we kind of border on the PG-13 R-rated stuff. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so the for the next chapter, which this is the one actually me and Alex are actually co-writing, we're, um, we're, I uh, offered to uh, take a bit of the workload off, and I don't want to spoil anything, but I will say that it does focus on Seuss as well as the future of the bar itself, so... Don't want to say anything, but it <laughs> it is going to be Seuss-centric along with a certain loudmouth robot. So, you know, be prepared for that, and there's going to be a lot of shenanigans ensuing. So, yeah, just once again, uh, you can just click the link below, go check out the No Name Club, and, you know, give support to Alex. This was his brainchild. I'm just adding to the madness. And, yeah, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later. Oh, before I forget, um, just to let everybody in the know... Uh, there are some grammar errors here and there. There's a few grammar errors uh, here and there. Thankfully, Alex managed to fix uh, a 
lot of them, but the, there's still a few, like, little tiny ones here and there. God bless Alex, but yeah, those were on my part. Nothing on him, but yeah. Um, there's a few little things here and there that you might see that'd be like, what the hell? And I can explain that. I When I was writing the two chapters, especially the, th the, um, the fifth one, when I was writing the second one, uh, <laughs> oh boy... I was drinking, and it was late at night, my, because my good friend Jack Daniels was helping me write this chapter. What do you want from me? I'm not. I'm an alcoholic, not a role model. Yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, but yeah. Um, hope y'all. Uh, but regardless of that, I hope y'all enjoyed this. And yeah, once again, hope y'all. Uh, um, hope y'all enjoy the story. And I'm out.